Once upon a time in a far off land there was a fox. How you doing? <laughs> and this fox, above all else, liked shoes. If you knew anything about shoes, platform, clog, saddle, running, basketball shoes. Thick soles, small soles, long heels, short heels. <laughs> they get it. You love shoes. Yeah, no need to be a joke about it. Jeez. He loved shoes so much, he eventually opened up a shoe store in the center of town. All types of folks came in to get a pair of shoes. Oh, brother. Hey, you. Hey, you. No loitering in the store, you bear. Get out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't have to ask me twice. How did you know he was loitering? <laughs> Simple. Most bears don't wear shoes. They like to walk around in their bare feet. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the village, seemingly deep in philosophical thought, was an ox. Um, excuse me, Mr. Ox. <laughs> <laughs> May I inquire for the audience why you are peering inside one of your shoes? I think I'm having some problems with my inner soul. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the shoe store, it was already another busy day, and the fox had a few customers already in line. Miss Frog, she wanted some orthopedic pumps, while the snake, Mr. Flick, wanted basketball shoes. Sorry for your wait. Hope you didn't worry. Wait here, and I'll get them in a hurry. Look at me. I love shoes so much. I'm rhyming. <laughs> The fox nodded and dashed off quickly into the back with his inventory. That was when, unknown to the fox, that the ox arrived. Uh, hello! Have you seen my friend, Mr. Fox? Is he your friend? Uh, yeah, the bestest! Or so he thinks. Yes, as you will hear in this flashback, one day a year or so ago, the ox needed a new pair of shoes and just so happened to stumble upon the fox's store, whereas the fox helped the dumb, misfortunate ox. There you go, Mr. Ox. A new pair of shoes. Oh boy, these are most comfortable. Yes, they are. Now I can walk anywhere, near or far. Hmm. You like to rhyme? So do I sometimes. Do you? Oh, that's great. Look at us being best friends and we just met. That'll be $200, Schumacher. Oh boy, a best friend! Ah, yes, but the fox was doing what he did best, sell shoes. Much of the fox's dismay, the very next day, exactly at 3.45, on the dot, the ox showed up and began to talk, and talk, and talk. We now continue to the present day. Oh, looky there, you getting some orthopedic shoes? Said the ox to Miss Frog. I think you mean orthopedic. Oh, <laughs> well, I stand corrected. Well, I never. D oh, wait, you forgot your clodhoppers, hoppers. Your ribox. <laughs> your crocs. <laughs> oh, no, she wasn't a crocodile. <laughs> never mind. Miss Frog, she left in quite a huff, but before the fox could try, the ox was already looking at the snake, Mr. Flick. Oh, my friend the fox has the best shoes, ain't he, Mr. Snake, sir? The name is Mr. Flick. I am not evil. <laughs> but I suppose so. Yes. Let me guess. You want some of those sneakers? <laughs> How that's specious. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe some slippers? <laughs> bah! I don't need this. I shall find a more suitable establishment for my shoe needs. The ox returned, dropping the shoes at the sight of the ox. Oh no! I lost track of time! It's past 3.45! The fox dropped the shoes in a bit of a huff at losing two more of his customers. Hello, ox! Said the fox to the ox. The ox turned and smiled. Hello, my friend! You see, this was the normal routine, day in and day out. Every day at 3.45, the ox comes in to the shoe store to talk to his so-called friend, the fox. It's so exhausting, though! Every day and every night, distracting that ox and treating customers right. I wish I may, I wish I might, come up with a way to end my plight. Look, I'm so frustrated, I'm rhyming. <laughs> After another particularly grueling day, the fox couldn't take it anymore, and, after the ox left, started to think. Hmm. Aha! Well, that fox, he came up with a swell old plan. The very next day, the ox returned right at 3.45 p.m. on the dot, as usual. The friend fox, I need help, please! What could I do for you in your time of need? 
No, I, I had a gift from someone. Was it you? They gave me some socks and they gave me some shoes. So I put on both and the pain hit quick. You see, there are rocks in my socks. Said the ox to the fox. The bumpy old, lumpy old, clumpy old rocks. Pinchy and squinchy whenever I walks. And oh, I'm so grumpy with these rocks in my socks. My dear steer. Said the fox to the ox. Just stop grumping and take out the rocks. The more you talk, the less one has time for taking out rocks. Oh, but there's no way. Said the ox to the fox. With my shoes underneath, my feet firmly on top, I see no way of removing the rocks. From where, your socks? Oh, uh, yeah. The, there's, there's even one that feels really big in there. The, what is another word for a large rock? Boulder. The, what is another word for a large rock? <laughs> there must be a way to get them out. Let me think, said the fox to the ox with a wink. Eureka! By Jove, I have it! So the ox listened to his friend's good plan. He went to an empty field outside of town when the ox then... Flip, flip, flop, up, ow! The ox cried out in pain. Did you do what I asked? Yeah, I tried to flip my legs in the air so my feet aren't on the top, but these rocks didn't slide out of my socks. And to make matters worse, I fell mid-flop, and now there's a tack in my back. Said the ox to the fox. A prickly old, trickly old, stickly old tack. Oh boy, if I found it was missing, I'd wish it right back. Please, friend fox, help me with this tack. The fox smiled, for his plan was working better than intended. <laughs> Good thing you have me here. Maybe... Uh... Flick your tail underneath your back, then for sure it'll take care of that tack. And wouldn't you know it, the ox did just that, but due to his oafishness, missed the tack and instead at full force hit a nearby fence post. Ow, there's a row on my tail, said the ox to the fox. A naughty old, cloddy old, rotty old rail, and it hurts real bad, like it's the size of a... Uh, what's a word for a big old fish? What, uh, let me see, uh, oh, I know... A whale. Oh, my tail! And ouch, my back! But you know what's worse than this tack? Those rocks in my socks! And as you can guess, the fox had more plans, and all those plans made it worse for the poor ox. And that ox was there all day and all night, until one day the fox came back to see the poor, lonely ox in pain. Oh, dearest best friend, you return, said the ox to the fox. Oh, uh, yes I have. You're lucky to have a friend like me. I'll help you out in this time of need. Hey folks, it's kind of fun to ride sometimes, and business is booming. <laughs> but overhead, overhead I should say, the ox and the fox saw a large shadow looming until the ox felt something on one of his legs. My word, I've never seen something quite so absurd. Yes, the bird adjusted her glasses and saw a big grown-up ox lying on his tail, a bee in his knee, his nose swelled up and looking very uncomfortable, believe. How did you get in this very sorry state? Uh, it's a long story, said the ox to the bird. I got a present from my friend Mr. Fox. A present? Yeah, it was a brand new pair of sneakers and special socks. Uh-oh, looks like that's my cue. <laughs> okay, jeez. Please don't go yet, Mr. Fox, said the bird that stood on the back leg of the ox. The fox, he's my friend, the bestest of them all, and he's an expert at getting rocks out of one socks. Is he now? Well, I don't have a degree or nothing. <laughs> the fix is simple, and it'll work rather quick. Just roll off the tack, there we go quick. Now, with the tail, just slide it from under that rail and straighten your knee, which will be free, your friend the bee. And now for the most important help of all. Well, look at the time. <laughs> Stand still, Mr. Fox. Now, dear ox, just take off your shoes, then take off your socks, and if you dump out the rocks, they won't be in your socks. That's all I needed to do? That's all you needed to do. Well, why didn't you just say that? Said the ox to the fox. Because I was trying to get back at you. Oh, get back at me for what? We're bestest friends. We're not friends. Friends, you annoy me. You scare away my customers. You care more about your business than me? That, that hurts my feelings. Good. 
<laughs> said the ox to the fox, so he held his head high and followed what the bird said, which led to dumping all those rocks on the fox's head. Ow! D- ah! Dang it! Ah! Ow! <laughs> The pain. And now the fox was trapped under a bevy of rocks, and while trying to escape, somehow had his tail under a rail, with that tack in his back and a bee hovering nearby. (laughs) (laughs) That's the biggest damn bee I've ever seen. Friend Ox, I was wrong to do what I done, but come back, come back! He must be stone deaf. So everyone, if there is a moral to this story, then the moral of the story is this. Never take anyone for granite.